Okay, I think we should bring it right back to the start. Because I am so proud of what it is right now. It's amazing. Um, when you both, you and Sarah, Tree, when Brian all came to yeah. me about this, and I listened to the song, I just thought, this is amazing. And like, your lyrics and the song just informs this video. I don't think we had to do too much with this. People might look at it and go, oh, it's great, and it's this. But actually, it's you who've done all the hard work. And Well, I don't think we go that far now. <laughs> no. In fairness, I do think all I wanted in this video was to represent the song. And I think we keep calling it divine timing when, when yourself and John came in. It's like you just interpreted the story yourself and you got it. And there was no like, oh, we think this and you guys think this. It like clicked so quickly. I think what's, uh, what helped us both is that we're both storytellers as such. We've been doing this for so long. John, like when you, when you, when you came to me with this, I thought there's no one better to do this than John. He's just, yeah. he's a phenom phenomenal and look cin at cinematographer. You can look, see that yeah. straight away, like when you see he, it. He catches things like that no one else can see. And like he sees an image before anyone else does and it's, it's just pops, it's beautiful. I remember we started with the very first scene, which was the dressing room scene. And I remember setting it up and I was like, this looks cool. And then I looked into the little lens of what he was seeing and I was like, oh my God, you're like transported to a whole new world. It's funny, because when I seen the dressing room too, I thought, how are we gonna jazz this up? It looks yeah. a bit dressing roomy and I not know. like, it, I just don't know how he was gonna make it pop. But he frames it so beautifully, it's lit so beautiful. And it's you pre kind of piano stuff, which is amazing. Yeah, no, it is, it is. And then like, the piano scene then, I was so nervous for that scene. Were you really? Yeah, I was because I do play piano and I write my songs on piano, but I don't really play it in front of people. Right. And I've been practicing away, um, but I was I was nervous. But I think we tried so many different angles and then by the end I was just like, oh, another take, let's go. Yeah. And I think that's the best way. Well, and you were like, give me more, give me yeah, more. Yeah, because cause what happened was, because obviously we played a backing track and when you do that, what happens is you tend to mime and everybody does because yeah. you don't want to burst your, your vocal cords or whatever, but actually when you're singing it so loud and you're in the song, yeah. that really pops on screen. That helped. I think we did it like twice and then you're like, okay, sing it out like you mean it. And then straight away, actually like, even towards the end, I was getting a bit emotional because obviously this song means so much to yeah. me. And when I sing it through start to finish, I haven't done it much because it's only coming out now, but I get so emotional towards the end, especially on that bridge. It like builds and builds yeah. and builds. And you can really see that in your performance, actually. I, I, it just built so much. Like, I think I said to you at one point, let, let the lyrics and, and the song just do its thing and you won't have to worry about anything else. Because you, you were a little bit concerned, weren't you, a few days before about not, being act, not acting before. And I yeah. said, if you just deliver the song, the camera will pick up your eyes and the story you're trying that, to tell. A hundred percent. And I kept telling myself that that day. And I think that really took the pressure off. So I'm really glad you said that. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it, it, really, it really does pop. When you look back at the video and you see some of those scenes where you're looking down the lens, you can really yeah. feel everything that you're singing. Yeah. And that's, and that's when then you're at your most still in the video. Yeah, that's Which so is true. amazing. You see so much through the eyes. And, and then obviously it was my first time ever working with a three-year-old. <laughs> but you, yeah. you worked with kids a little bit. Well, do you know, like, I had talked to people, but I've obviously been around kids a lot on film sets, and it's hard to get them to do what you want them to do yeah. because they're kids, and they just spiral off into different directions. But, you know, Room was a f film Lenny Abramson done that was nominated for an Oscar, and they worked with a kid who was, it, they, it, they said it was hard, but they, they come up with all these ideas of how to make things kid, work. Yeah. And that you just let them do their own thing. Like, obviously we fed um, Harper lots of Harry Bus. So many jellies. <laughs> I think like six sound packs of Harry Bus. I know. Bus. Actually, in one of the outtakes, I don't know, you probably wouldn't have seen it in the edit room. She's sitting at the top of the stairs when we were trying to get her to look out the door. I remember that and somebody lifts her up, I think it's her mom. And at one point, before she's lifted up, she grabs like nine jellies all at once and she stuffs them all in her mouth. <laughs> And we were trying to get her to ca be calm there, and you're like, you know, she's not going to be calm now with all the sugar on her body. But even I remember you had a, it was like a Moana balloon, and you're behind John the whole time, like, look, look, <laughs> but it worked. For the seconds we have her on screen, that was so great about Johnny and what he does with the camera. I know. He follows her around, and you get all the most natural moments. And so all those moments we get with her looking at the bear that was and actually playing, just her playing, they're real. Yeah, yeah, and 100%. Because you, you can't get a three year old to act, you just, it's just impossible. And the bear is funny. I don't know if you've said this, well, it's a bunny, but. Again, like back to the divine time and thing, because um, when I was young, you know, everyone has a childhood teddy and yeah. you bring it up as you go up or whatever. And that we've used that in the video. 
you know, you have this teddy from when you're young and obviously you see me with it then. But mine was actually a blue bunny. No way. Yeah, so when she was like, oh yeah, Harper's favorite teddy is this pink bunny. I was like, that's a bit mad, like. <laughs> um, and you can see she's absolutely stuck to it. And then we bought her loads. So I think she has about three or four. So of them was now. it ever going to be a blue bunny, I wonder, in the video? I like that it's, it's like her interpretation of it. So, yeah. you know, we let her go and it's her favorite toy. She will not let it out of her hand. And right. I think that really made some of the scenes. So. Absolutely. That moment where you touch the bear in the dressing room yeah. and you get a flashback to the younger you and it's, it's Leah Hull or Harper holding the, the bunny. It's beautiful. It just, see, it's seamless. It just yeah. feeds into each other and it's great. I'll never forget. And it's the funniest thing ever. Her sitting at the top of the stairs. And obviously we have this really important scene where you know, the parents are fighting in the background. Um, we really wanted to see it like, maybe I'm saying this wrong, but through the three-year-old's eyes. Absolutely. Yeah, so getting her to do that though was very funny and I'll never forget, uh, Sarah actually said, um, do peekaboo, can't you do peekaboo? And all of a sudden she did this, but she's like looking through her fingers and you were holding the little screen that you look at and I was like, <gasps> yeah, that is. It was really special actually because a few of the takes we'd seen her do the peekaboo but she had, was smiling and it was never the right moment. Yeah. But the one time I stood next to Sarah, um, your manager, and I was showing her the monitor and she's seen uh, Harper look between her hands and Sarah just ran out of the room crying. She started bawling her eyes yeah. crying straight away. And <laughs> she would have heard that song 60 million times but that shows to me like how special and important this is because yeah. you know even even me watching it and it's so different I'm, I've seen it a hundred million times at this stage but uh, there's moments that make me tear up every time I see it and um, that's why I'm just I'm so excited. It's a really special song and we're I'm ju we're just delighted that we could deliver the video because it's it, it is special and it informs the song like the form and songs um, informs the video they do it in reverse and every moment that we wanted to capture we did. We did. And I'd be like good at if we didn't, because but we're sitting here now, just really proud of it and proud of you. Really, really proud of it. I couldn't have done it without you guys and the team and Harper, of course, John, everyone. So thank you so much for taking my vision and making it into something so incredible.